I'm just going to wait for the notification so I can get on here. Notification. I love it. YouTube says sending data. Everybody knows your phone code now. <laughs> that was the wrong one, so it's on you. <laughs> Are we live for real, though? Oh, yeah. Yay! Let me go to YouTube's, and I will find our video. Sorry if you're here typing, my friends. Um, okay, I'll grab this. I have to reconnect her. I'd like to uh, shout out to the internet right now. <laughs> Currently, it says good quality. Yay! Mm -hmm. Hope it stays like that. Me too. Deb! We got friends joining in. Ruby Lily, hello. I don't see us on Facebook yet. Give yeah, everybody I a few minutes to get in there. We're having a connectivity issue with Facebook, so we're going to work on it right now. Okay. We'll just, we'll just wait for a few minutes. Couple but if minutes. you're here, we're excited. Yeah, Let's hang on. You can do it. Shout out to a chime, up, chime in for, uh, you know, what city are you in? What snacks did you bring? Oh, yeah. What snacks did you bring? We definitely want to know that. You got your, your snacks? Um, yeah, I do have snacks. <laughs> Was that some Maybe. Sorry, uh, It's going to be a little coming soon on Facebook. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the camera when you did it. I was just thinking about my cheese its and how I feel sorry for Heidi having to sit next to me. It's fine. It's fine. I've got my snack. My okay, what did you bring? Oh, yeah. Giant water bottle. I like it. It's so much healthier than me. <laughs> I like now. that it has like little cheering you on things on there. Isn't that cute? Cute. I like how you put it in front of light and it's glowing. It's so pretty. I can only continue as myself on Facebook. And that would be unacceptable. Well, you can continue. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, Amy said she just finished cheese curls. Oh, Madison, Wisconsin. Jello. <laughs> Jello. Okay. All right. Okay. I haven't had Jello in a while. Um. Yeah, just gathering supplies here. We got some collage paper. We got our brushes. We got our can paint. Tell me when we're good to go on Facebook. Yeah, we'll, yeah we no. can go. We'll just, so we're just going to be working on Facebook, connecting it for a few minutes. So no one on, but no, that means no one on Facebook can see us. Correct. I mean, Correct. Well, I'll hold That's off like saying anything. Half of the audience. So. <laughs> I'll hold off saying anything <laughs> pertinent until we make sure everybody's available. Yeah, I mean, I could just do some interlude music. I love it. Keenan, can you sing for us, please? That do some art cheerleading. Oh, you guys are so great. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> if you're new here, Keenan is our camera guy slash art cheerleader. Yes, I'm here. Hello from Ukraine. That's cool. And this is Heidi. I'm going to reintroduce her again, but Heidi, you want to tell them who you are and why you're here? I am Heidi, and I am here because Jesse asked me to be here. <laughs> She's so kind, right? I love that question. Why are you here? <laughs> she likes art, and she works for Let's Make Art. There are a lot of things you can say right here. I know. <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> um, yes, I am the marketing director, so you're Thank welcome, and I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, this is exciting. And I, I do also like to do art, and yeah. We're going yeah. to do some fun, messy art today, right? Yeah, using all kinds of fun materials we've been gathering. Wait, where did that stack of stuff I had go? That was right there. You can't move it. Were you cleaning the desk? I did. I that cleaned up. That was not garbage. I know it I'm looked so like so garbage, but assumed. they were recycled materials that we want to like use for art making. <laughs> Let me just crawl over to the spot I put on the floor. That was strategic garbage. I, yeah, so... If you are gathering these same um, materials at home, make sure nobody goes cleaning up behind you because it's not oh. trash. We love our earth and we're going to reuse oh, things. God. Okay, thank you. I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> All of the cool tidbits we've been collecting. What did you collect? I have brought a lot of stuff. Well, show me what you, where cycle things you want to use. Okay, so I have my repurposed Let's Make Art box that I just fill with random stuff because I like to make messy art a lot. So I've got oh, you got some bubble wrap, little bubble wrap. smaller. Yeah, this one I put in my box this morning and found that my kids had already popped all the bubbles. <laughs> so I mean, can you blame them? <laughs> a different texture. I have just some brown paper towel, um, messy paper, an old library card that is no longer pertinent to my life. That's good for moves. scraping, you know, and yes. things like that. Is that what you like to do with it? 
Yeah, so I keep all my collage things in here, including your collage paper. Oh. So. Oh. Um, yeah, this stuff. is a uh, paper that I designed. So if you are in need of collage paper, we have this lovely what? paper pad available. I have fabric scraps too. Ooh. From like oh. finished little projects where you have, you always have a little bit of left over when you're doing sewing. And Heidi's paint. so talented. She sews, she paints, she markets, she does lots of things. Market. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice skill set added there. We also market. Well, what I think is important for somebody who is marketing is to truly really understand what they are marketing, and she is doing the things. Like I, I think that we're really lucky to have someone who understands the process all the way throughout. Little it's did true. we Thank know you, this Jessie. would be a hype set for everybody. Oh, no. Okay, That's now awesome. I'm going to talk about Jesse. Stop it. <laughs> oh, I just Sorry, love I this that. like hot pink. I'm not. I don't. I usually don't gravitate that, but to. But I mean, with that co those colors right there, it's just so. Vibrant. Just a little pop. You yeah. just need a little bit of sneaky sneak. Color. I'm into it. Yeah. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak. So we got Mary here. She's being really quiet, but she's with us. Mary is problem solving for us so that our friends on Facebook can join in. Mm hmm. So we would love to hear what kind of supplies you've gathered as you're waiting, and we can answer some questions while we're waiting. Just going to pick through and pick some things out. Yeah, I like it. Some recycled paper that I'm also reusing. Oh, it's already Ooh, been recycled it. once. Has a recycled symbol on it. Love it. Um, I love graph paper. Just like a little bit of grid. Yeah. It's always fun. It's an added little interest. I always, I love seeing what other people collect. Like, the, I don't know, I call it like collage tidbits, like just little, little pretties that I can't get rid of that are on my desk. Do it's awesome. Wanna, do you want to swap? It is. Do you want to swap? Oh, look at that little swap. <laughs> <laughs> so when I first met Heidi, I actually got to see her like fabric collection, which was really impressive. It was just like two grown ups doing show and tell for like an hour and it was awesome. <laughs> it was a long time, but I think you did secretly like it. Oh, I loved it. Um, this is what I've gathered. What I think is neat about having just a pile of paper like this is you might not think those two things go together like that pink and that green until you see them kind of hanging out in, in their, their tidbit garden or whatever. Um, so it's a lot of fun. And we can kind of revisit this, I guess, in a little bit. But Anna says, Idaho here right now. I'm eating cheese and crackers. Yay! Yeah, I'm going to set this aside now. But Hi, Anna. Cheese and crackers will make really good textures. Uh-huh. You know, just crackle mm -hmm. some of those up there, sprinkle them like salt. Call Who knows what'll happen? A little stamp. <laughs> a little stamp. Don't eat it. Oh, powder. that's a good idea. <laughs> Chris Wheat says had to hop over to the trusty YouTube. It's my lunch break though, so I'll be making some pasta. Pasta art. Any Facebook hmm. luck. There we go. We're close. Yay! All right. Anywhere from three seconds to four hours. We're not, you know, anywhere in that range. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Chris. We. <laughs> what is the? Do you want to share the Facebook issue? So, that so yeah, the know. Facebook issue is that we're we have a streaming service called Restream, and its connection has expired, v meaning that one of whoever was logged in with Restream before to go live on our Facebook uh, page, excuse me. Uh, it got disconnected, so we're working on okay. why Reconnection. and in how. Cool. So it shouldn't take too long. Pick a page. Yeah, well, you from. know, I have this that uh, I started, and kind of this was the sneak for the project. Then I kind of took it a little bit further, but I didn't finish it because I thought it would be fun to kind of do a couple of different things on camera. So we could talk about just make, making a messy layer right now. And then as our Facebook friends join us, then we can kind of go back and talk about that again. Is that okay? Totally. So our, so all of our friends can be doing something fun with us. Yep. Um, and uh, it's Earth Day, which is so fun. And I uh, was thinking, I really wish I had one of those like cool shirts that have like Earth on it. And it says, love your mother. Um, Cause it's also my mom's birthday. <laughs> so I never oh, forget her what? birthday because it's Earth Day. <laughs> So happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, <laughs> Jessie's mom. Her name's Linda. Linda. Um, yeah, so uh, 
I just think it's fun to make art today and be mindful of, you know, the earth and have some gratitude. And um, on our other art journal projects, we like to take a minute to take a deep breath and set an intention. And so I think that that might be appropriate here. You know what? Let's do it. We got a little excited about what's happening with our technical stuff. We're, you know, just chatting, but I think it'd be good. So let's take a deep breath. And just be mindful. Whatever is kind of tight, just try to... I mean, my shoulders are feeling tight right now, so I'm gonna roll my shoulders, but whatever. You, you're you here, ready to make art. That's awesome. That's half the problem is like showing up, right? So you did it. Um, and I think an intention that I would like to set today is just being grateful for the earth. I mean, it's amazing. Like we have water we ha to drink, we have food, we have all these beautiful, um, beautiful things that we can see are all around us. Um, so happy Earth Day. And we wanted to, use recycled materials in art making. So we we're just talking um, now about gathering some of those. This came in a package. I think it was like from Target or something. I just thought this was such a cool, That's really cool. texture. Um, and then I have bubble wrap, but it's a different size, big guy. And then, oh, these ones are not all popped and they're kind of similar to that one. So if you need that, I will share it. Um, yeah. I have my paper towels from previous <laughs> projects I'm re they dry out and you can use them again right? yeah totally I have a fork that I used previously with some gesso to make lines so that's kind of fun what else you got I have paper towels I have also bubble wrap I also have some of the the crinkle paper from oh from our boxes box. so I'm gonna see if we can do something fun with that yes I love it okay so let's give them so Heidi likes to do chaos layers in her art and then kind of bring it back to something that's recognizable again. And we thought it'd be fun to make some chaos layers um, using different materials and just having fun and then showing you what it looks like to bring it back. So I was doing this as a kind of a preview for the thing and then I started playing around with it more and I started kind of making a plant and I was thinking that this pot could be <clears throat> you know that chaos layer and then we can mask off the other things yeah. but i kind of was holding off because i wanted heidi to be able to talk us through that so do you want to show them some examples of the chaos layer sure art? So, so chaos is really just like the process and i think you talk about it a lot just like unwhiting the paper <laughs> almost right where yeah. you just you don't want to be staring at a blank canvas you want to be be able to just freely mark up and so that's the idea of a chaos layer so um here's some things that i've this is one that is still chaos. Yeah, I love wow. the vibrant colors. Um, I obviously cut it into different sections, but I could I could use this as a whole foundation of a, a piece or rip it up like I like to and add it to stuff too. Do you find it therapeutic just to make those marks and just have fun before oh. you like zoom, zoom in on your... Absolutely. I love like I love to just play more than anything. <laughs> I know you do too. Yeah. And so that's my favorite is like no expectations at all. I'm just doing it because it feels right to do it. I and love so that. If I can go back later and turn it into something. So this is some cake, <laughs> <laughs> but you can see there's just some, some fun marks yeah. that I turn. I, I don't know if it's shiny and hard to see, but you it know, is, it, does, it does glimmer. Thank you for okay. changing the angles. I can change the angle so you can see, but this is just the chaos layer and from underneath and then I marked it out into cake so by fun. erasing the background. So it was one. like all crazy like this. Let me see that again. Yeah. And then you went in and masked that shape off and right. then left some of those little fun bits to show through, right? Yeah, I just drew an outline for it and then covered the background with new layer paint. I love it. So, and then this is a little bit more about what, what I, I brought this because this is kind of what I'm hoping to do some version of today. This is my favorite, one of this my favorite paintings here. It's like true mixed media mm -hmm. where you can see, if you really look, there's pieces of my recycled paper mm -hmm. that is, is in the painting. There's some fabric scraps and some, some, a lot of different layers. Now, how do you get I, that fabric to stay in there? So I used gel medium. I thought so. Gel I just matte medium. Sure. Yes. And um, oh, and there's some of your graphite paper and some of that fabric I saw in your box. Yeah, yeah. So I, that's why I like to collect them. And then obviously you add layers of paint and interest. And, and even if you look up here at the clouds, there was chaos layer that, we, that I then covered. Yeah, and I love how these scrapes kind of show that background. Yeah. And this whole vibe makes me think of like this like sea of life just kind of coming and going and just imagining like, I don't know, like 
all the things that are just happening, bubbling at once. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> waves don't go have to go away for you to like be able to enjoy the colors that come out of mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I okay. love it. Is that good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's start getting crazy with our chaos. What do you think? Is that a good good plan? Get crazy. All right. And um, let me know when our Facebook friends join, and then we will um, get them up to speed. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna recreate this. With us? They oh, are. There's okay. There's, okay. So there's a slight limitation to Facebook. Okay. We got an update. We have an update. Facebook is live. We cannot show you all of the camera angles. It's gonna be okay. limited to just one right now. Okay. Should we say if you want to see the full experience, go to our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and we're live there as well. Yep. Yep. I love that. <laughs> That's perfect. What Heidi said. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to find a, oh, this, these are other pages, pages that I use recycled materials and played around with. Me and Heidi had a day where we were just like, what do we want to do? So we had fun oh, with doing yeah. that. Okay. So I'm going to recreate this page and then we'll take it to that, that step. And then we'll have Heidi talk to us more about what, what to do when you're on the masking part. Okay. okay. So this is just playtime. Yeah, we're just gonna paint. We can keep answering questions and talking about what, well, whatever they stuff we want to talk about. You know. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this. Oh, and the supplies we're using are from the um, subscription box. I love Dina Wakely. It makes me get a paint. I have Marine. She just um, dispensed some cheddar, and now she has and fuchsia. fuchsia. And we got some apricot. I'm not doing this in any particular place. So if you right. need another dollop in another place. And then we've got gesso. And then I have, I just snuck in my, where is it? My gel medium, oh. which Jesse put in a previous box. Mm -hmm. I don't remember which one it was, but that's why I have it. Cause I got it from my art journaling box. And then this helps adding a lot of different layers too. Yeah. You can use it for collage and um, building up texture, just all kinds of fun things. And I'm just going straight on this with Marine. Just having a little fun with the paint. It's a little bit watered down. I love this I like color. it being a little translucent. I know I'm obsessed with this marine color. I like it almost as much as I like Prussian blue. What? I know, Prussian blue is like my favorite, but this mm -hmm. marine is coming up to be one I reach for a lot more. And I could be in this palette forever. This palette that we have for April is just so fun. There's so many fun colors you can mix. I like this color because it's a little bit green, and then when you mix the the pink with it, it also kind of deepens the color, mm -hmm. makes it less saturated. I love that. Sorry, we're gonna probably it's I'm gonna mess up whatever you were trying to do there, but I will pour all my own paint <laughs> if it comes to it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Heidi and I have painted before, so we're not gonna fight about this. It's we're not. Fine. <laughs> We're not overly polite about our paint. We, you know, we do what we need to do. We'll get it done. <laughs> Can you describe what this, what kind of paint this is? Watercolor, acrylic? Oh, it's acrylic paint and um, it's Dina Wakely. And I just, I love this brand of paint because it just has really great pigment. I feel like it's better quality than a lot of acrylic paint you can find in this size. But I like that it's portable and easy for art journaling and, um, yeah, you, it's, um, we like this paint and we like Dilusions as well. And they're just fabulous. Thank you for asking that question. That was actually a question from Rudy. Rudy, thanks. I'm gonna dry this really fast with my heat gun. Handy, handy dandy heat gun. And I like drying it on both sides so it doesn't buckle as much and it really does dry all the way through the paper, which is good. So just one layer of paint. You don't have to do these colors. You can do whatever you want. We're not being too fussy about it. Definitely just not. paper. Just having fun. Ooh, I like that purple Heidi's got going. Got to bring in my pinks and purples. Heidi and I are drawn to different color palettes, but we appreciate um, our differences. Yeah. Well, that, that was kind of a fun conversation we had when we were first getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. We were talking a lot about why we paint and why we create and for me 
I have a disorder called narcolepsy, and so I don't have a lot of energy naturally, and so when I paint and create, it's because I want to bring more energy into my life, into my day. And so I use a lot of bright, energetic colors. And so, you know, like when you, when you think about what motivates you, it, it, sometimes it shows up in your habits and your color palettes. I thought I brought um, a paper towel roll to do this with and I forgot it. So I'm just gonna unroll this real fast. <laughs> and now I have one. We're gonna we're do it anyway. Gotta, we just got a cameo from Mary on Facebook. <laughs> Did she just pop in there? <laughs> she popped in real quick to the live, and it was so great. Everyone on Facebook, that you got a sneak peek. That it was, was so that good. was Mary. That was, we love Mary. So great. We love Mary. She's a so rare, awesome. Rare appearance. <laughs> okay, so what Heidi was saying about like liking energy and infusing in her life, I'm kind of like really high energy. So when I paint, I want to be more calm. <laughs> so I usually pick calm colors when I'm when I'm looking for that when I'm creating. So. I think it's interesting to to note that like why do you paint like what what colors make you happy yeah okay so i've got this paper towel roll now that it's been freed from the paper towels and i'm just gonna dip it in my gesso what yep and i'm just gonna put some circles on there just you know oh uh, that's awesome <laughs> it's like a stamp you could do this with a water I bottle call that top a doot -doot -doot trumpet <laughs> Like it. Yeah, like an announcement trumpet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, so you can use whatever you got around. This is just one thing. Um, I'm gonna try some bubble wrap next. Oh, but I wanna I wanna mix a color with. I wanna mix this fuchsia with this apricot. It gets like this peachy color when you mix these two, which I am just Ooh. loving. And I need to have it thick enough so when I put my bubble wrap on there, it's going to pick it up. So don't water down your paint too much when you're... Maybe I just need a little bit of that cheddar in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just so excited about this color. Get okay. a little bit of that cheddar. <laughs> I think I'm going to get really messy and it's going to be... Okay. Yes! Get messy! Okay. I'm just going to stick that in my paint just like that. Can you see that, y'all? I'm just putting it right in the paint. This bubble wrap. I'm going to lift it up. I'm just going to stick it on my page. See what happens. Oh, I got a lot of paint right there on accident, but that's okay because we'll just work it in. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I tripped over myself. It's okay. Everybody is okay. No one was harmed except for maybe Keenan's ego. It's okay. <laughs> nope. Maybe not even. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to find a spot <laughs> to put some gel medium. Okay. So yeah, you can use bubble wrap or something else to get some textures in there. I just, I just think bubble wrap is so cool. I like the texture. Yeah, it's fun. Thank you. And the lightness. That's really fun for when you're doing kind of an under layer or chaos layer is to get variation of light and dark. Okay, so I'm gonna dry that really fast so I can keep working in my layers. Okay, that's awesome. I am getting my crinkle paper wet because Ooh. when you're doing a thick layer like that with the gel medium, it's better to get it wet first. And I'm just gonna get super messy. It's gonna be fun. I'm just painting it all. Okay, I just love that we're doing different things and they can see all the different ways you could take yeah. this. If you need me to focus on something, you, you tell me and I'll focus. No, but you're fine. That means <laughs> There's no focus needed here. That We're just getting crazy. Happen naturally. So this is kind of my chaos layer at the bottom right here. And I was wondering if I should recap for our Facebook friends. Are we are we with our Facebook friends? We are with our Facebook friends. We're working on the camera. Oh, cool. Because it's not perfect. It's okay. It's okay. Should I do this every now and then? Would that help? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'll do that. All right, so this is our chaos layer now. We, what we did was we just put a background and then we added some white gesso with a paper towel roll. And then we added some of this bubble wrap and you can keep going and get crazy, whatever you wanna do. But I wanna show you what I did next. So I thought, I think I wanna draw a plant. And then I thought, I don't want anybody to get scared about drawing plants. So I thought I'll bring back the doodles that we did in February, these nice. guys, right? And we sketched them and then we went over with a pit pen marker and we kind of 
did this cool thing where after we liked our drawing, we um, cut it out and put it on with gel medium. So that's when, when you might be familiar with that if you've been following along with us. So I thought I'm gonna use the same plant shape on the chaos layer and kind of do this technique that Heidi likes to do. So I got here with it, right? So I sketched that same shape out. So I'll show you here, just thinking about sort of like a, that planter shape like this. And then just go for it. Like don't, you're not gonna mess anything up. This is all gonna be fine, right? And then I just kept adding um, the leaves on there. So I had one little leaf that's coming out of the pot, kind of wonky. I really like that. So I went for that. And then can you see that on this camera over here? Should I show that? So we got a pot. And then some leaves coming out. Okay. So that's kind of where I went from that. And then... Um, I kept going and started adding paint. So, and I mixed some green. So I'm gonna mix some green because I know I'm gonna want more of that here. Let's see, a little cheddar. Jesse, these are super cool. Thank you. I love this plant. It has like this variegated kind of um, stripey effect in the leaves. Is that? Yeah, yeah variegated. It has a name. I don't know what kind of. Aloe. No. Mm -hmm. uh, Close. There is a name. It's like a snake plant or Aloe like a... Aloe snake. Aloe snake plant. I'm if, I bet it's somebody, not. if y'all know what kind of plant that is, help oh, us out. <laughs> what kind of plant is this? So then I just started filling in the leaf shapes with this different color greens. And I'm just adding this other green in here for now. Just so fun, which I love it. I'm just... gluing more trash to my... <laughs> Repurposed, reusable paper goods. Nailed it. It is a snake plant. Nice. Oh, first try. I wasn't sure, so that's awesome. Okay, so I've just filled in that shape with that and just kept going. And um, I'm going to answer a few questions I know we had before while she keeps going on our chaos layer. And then when she's ready to show masking, I'll revisit my plant here. So we'll be all over the place and it'll be a great time. I have another page that I can go to to show masking so that we don't have to wait for this Oh, to I want to see where this goes. I love it. Okay. There's no rush. Okay. Then I may need, <laughs> I may need to dry the page. Let me get okay. a couple more of like chaos I'm going to set this right here. Will that, that be helpful? That is gel medium. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, so some of our questions were, uh, how do you organize your scrappy bits of paper and stuff that you organize? So I was showing this earlier, this little tray right here sits on my desk and I just put random stuff in there. And what I like about it, what we were saying earlier is that when you have something sitting next to each other, sometimes that will spark an idea. This is actually cut out mm -hmm. from the March journal on top of the April paper. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a silhouette. Um, so, you know. There's that, or and it, this is when I cut out those kids from that too, and so you can do that. Um, yeah, so I, ha I like to have just little tidbits handy um, at my desk, and then I just kind of keep putting things in here as I go. I've got some tissue paper and some of this textured ribbon that's gonna be coming up in a May box. Um, this mm -hmm. is actually from the June box <laughs> I was um, developing. Spoiler. Spoilers! And then this one is actually, um, I think, from the lawn yop that we're gonna do next month, which we're actually for the first time going to um, have a little bonus kit that will go along with that. So that's fun. <laughs> I'm, am I, it's okay that I'm yeah, spoiling all this? Yeah, say that, I love it. I'm like, Mary's gonna be like, shh. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, so I, one way I like to organize it is a tray like this. Another way I like to do it is, um, I like to carry around these. <laughs> She's pulling tape. I think I had one more of these. Did it fall on the floor, Keenan? One like about this big? Either it was, it fell on the floor or it was placed on the floor. Okay. Well, yeah, that's probably what happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's all Yay, thank you. He's like, this is all trash. Get this out of here. Um, so these little cellophane envelopes actually come in your subscription box and has like our prompts and our techniques and stuff like that. But then I reuse them and put little tidbits of paper in it. So sometimes I'll organize it by color or maybe just something I'm like liking the vibe of. 
Um, this is actually, I put this together and then I scanned it in and made the paper for March last year. And you helped me with that. You remember That's that? Right, yeah. It's missing some of the peaches fell behind, but yeah, this is from June when we did printmaking. I mean, this is like a whole history of art journal right here. But I love the little guys because yeah, we're reusing the self um, cellophane stuff to keep things organized and then you could just go. So this little journal I've been working on, I just grabbed some of these bits with me and I kind of worked on this little guy in the car, which has been a lot of fun. I to love that. Just add little, little, little of these bits to things and Chris, just keep on Chris going. Chris Wheat says she loves that mini book as well. Thanks. So you don't get sick in the car when you're doing little no, Probably I know some people do, but. she's got propped up on the dash and she's just relaxing. I think you do that, don't you? <laughs> yes. We're no, telling all your telling secrets. Me. Yeah, it's not safe. So, so this is one way you can organize your paper. Oh, and, and then other questions we had were like, how do you, or, how, uh, any ideas for organizing art supplies with recycled materials? And I think when you repurpose, that's like recycled, right? It is. Yes. So I have a spice rack that I it's even better than put I'm my, um, paint in and it's usually like upright so then and I put it in so I can see the bottom of the paint so I can grab it easily so spice rack I saw someone use those coffee pod that was on like a turntable and they used that for their paint oh like the the Keurig the Seagull. yeah so cool. Oh, that is cool so chime in with any of those ideas that you want to share with our community because we all love knowing more new things like that yep. little cheats little hacks um let's see what else uh, the slang name for that plant uh -huh. is the mother-in-law plant. Oh, mother I see. Isn't that super funny? <laughs> okay. Mother-in-law's tongue. That this plant, plant that he's talking about. Slang name. <laughs> that we're still having progress here. Um, yeah, okay. Were there any other questions um, that we wanted to answer? I'm going to turn this on. Yes, go for it. You're fine. Can you sneak it excited. through here? What's that? There are a lot of people that are excited. Yay! Uh, oh, I love that. Yes. Okay. I'll see if I can find you some questions. Can we generate some questions? <laughs> well, I know I had some saved previously because um, we had a few friends um, add their questions on Facebook, and I think I answered most of them. One of them was about, um, you know, are we using any recycled materials or sustainable items as far as um, Let's Make Art goes? And we've really been working hard to simplify our packaging and take that down. And we know everybody that paints along with us gets really creative with um, how they use their stuff. So we like hearing about that. I forgot to grab it, but I actually, um, the little cloth bags that come in the subscription box, um, I, um, yeah, I put a, a, like a stamp on it and made a design on it. And it's in my car right now. It's going to go to my niece. So shout out to Melissa if you're listening um, as a little belated gift for her. Um, so you can reuse those things in all kinds of ways. That's awesome. Oh, it's looking cool. Well, it doesn't look like much yet, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Layering is a lot of fun. It is but so you do fun. A lot of that. So I love to layer. Love it, love it. Here's a question from Michelle. How do you use matte medium and how does it differ from gesso, please? Oh yes, I love, I love to answer that. Okay, so gesso, um, this says white gesso is a primer and it even says it on there. So what it's great for is priming a surface. So um, someone who wants to paint on canvas, if it hasn't been primed already, you would use gesso to prime the canvas so that it's gonna be stable for the paint that you add to it afterwards. And um, we like to use gesso and um, <clears throat> art journaling to do the same thing. It will stabilize our paper and give us really cool texture and stuff like that. Um, you can stick some things together with gesso and I have done that, but if you're wanting to use um, gel really medium dry. for that. <laughs> Sorry, it's already dry. Yay, isn't that, <laughs> this I, is I love this guy. Um, <clears throat> so gel matte medium, is different than like um, Mod Podge or like uh, some other adhesive because what gel matte medium is, is actually like the same as acrylic paint. So like if you want to thin down your acrylic paint but not lose the integrity of the um, pigment because watering down will, you know, disperse the pigment. Gel matte medium just lightens the paint without messing with the integrity of the pigment, if that makes sense. So um, they have um, matte medium and different viscosities, which means like thicknesses. So you can really get some thick 
um, gel matte medium, add it to your paint and get some really tech, real big, awesome peaks and textures that way. But the way that um, Heidi is using it right now is just um, as a way to stick things down and um, she could even tint it with some of the paint. So you have more of a, a layer that's coming over it, but still sticking it down um, and whatnot. This is like, like it, when you got the yes paste, you may have been tempted to like put it on top as well. Mm -hmm. With gel matte medium, you can do yes. that. And it makes it more like part of the whole page. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're trying to use Yes Paste and all those things together, you might struggle because Yes Paste is water soluble, which I love that about um, Yes Paste because I can reconstitute it. So if I if it dries out, still good. Gel medium doesn't do that. If it's dry, it's done forever. Um, but if you're used Yes Paste and then you wet it again with like gel medium or something else, then it might come unstuck. So mm -hmm. Yes Paste is really like that last step. Um, the, the, those kind of things are tricky when you're doing mixed media. So there's are really good questions to understand. This is this, and this is the order of using these kind of things. But I, mean, I wouldn't get too stressed about it. Like you'll learn as you go and it's going to be an awesome experience, right? It's going to be great. <laughs> so Shelly Hahn has a question. Hi, Shelly. And I'll read her whole comment, then her question follows. Excellent. A lot of people talk about using tissue paper and napkins in their journals. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to glue those in? Yes, paste seems thick for very thin papers like that. Maybe not. It can work okay, and I have used that. Um, but I, I think I prefer gel me medium for those really thin things. And, well, I have some right here, so let's just demo it. Um, I'm going to put some, like, right here. Cindy is wondering if I paint along while, you, while we film. Mm -hmm. I do not. I do he's, not do that. He's Why got not? a couple other yeah. things. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> so a few if you cameras to watch. Bunch this up. I just put that gel medium right on my paint, my, my paper. You can kind of get some textures with that because it gets all crunchy and folded. See that? Can you see that on the camera, Keenan? Yeah. Um. So there you go. Now you got some texture in there, and I might put a little bit of that up here too. Can you point to that corner again real quick, Jesse? I would love to. Hold on, my fingers are... Because I put a little split split screen here for us. Right here, I just kind of bunched up this kind of tissue paper and stuck it down with the gel medium. And then up here, I just spread it out really thin and you can see more transparent. You can only see that ocean kind of thing on there. So I'm just going to rip that off and put, <laughs> put this on my finger and just smoothens more on there like that. There you go, Heidi. Thank you. I'm going to dry that. And so that will be showing through on there. I love that you asked the question. I could demo it right now. That's know, so that's fun. That's amazing. So, yeah, now we got tissue paper on this guy. Cindy, some, Cindy said sometimes my comments make her think that I do paint along with. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you have painted. Yeah, I've painted some. I like to just, I love ideas and I love to explore those ideas with the words because my mouth works better than my mechanical skills with my hands. Mm -hmm. I've practiced that more than my painting skills, so. <laughs> I like to tease Keenan because sometimes he'll say, well, you know what would be cool there is if you did that. <laughs> and I'm in the middle of going one direction and he'll suggest that and I'm like, you should try that on your own, Keenan. And he does, <laughs> he does, y'all. <laughs> He's like, challenge accepted. <laughs> I do have a page that's covered in gesso currently in my journal that has nothing else. So it's just like, you know, possibilities, it's just ready. waiting to be used. Okay, pass me your pink notebook, because we were talking about this. You keep going. Um, but I just love that you said that, Keenan, because Heidi likes to just paint and then go back and revisit. I know I don't want to show out your whole journal because this is personal, but I'm trying to find that's that pink. Fine. You can show whatever you okay. Want. We're okay. She just gave me all page. the permission to go through her just, journal, which is my favorite. This is just play. Where's that pink page? Is that one in this one? Um, it's in the next. Oh, wait. It might be in the one I'm using. Oh, well, let's see it. It is not. I already took it out. <laughs> I thought I was going to show it. That's okay. Funny. Okay, so this is so, there's so many good things in here, but I just wanted to show you this one page. It's toward the front. Oh, is it? There it is. So, I mean, just look at that beautiful color. Sometimes you could just have a feeling that's a color, get mm. that on there, and then you can come back and you're not facing that blank page again. Yeah. Now you can react to that color and how you're you know, feeling and what you want to do next. And I think this color would be so fun in one of those masking things where you have some of that light coming through. Mm. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I just love that Heidi doesn't like keep 
herself from creating because she doesn't have an idea right away. She just paints and then lets it go and then comes back to it. I know you're limited in the time that you have to be creative. And so it helps um, to just be okay with wherever you are in the process. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, you can, I'm talking for you. I'm sorry. You no, can explain I your like process, it. but. I love it. That's, that was just right. <laughs> and so, so uh, if you are feeling like, oh, I can't paint all that, I don't have time for that, just know that a lot of these things for us happen in little shorter mini sessions because we're all busy trying to, you know, balance all the things that we have going on in our life. I have a sketchbook next to my microwave that sometimes I'll play in while I'm waiting for the microwave <laughs> because that's the time that I have, so. Awesome. Do you need this? I just got a catch in my throat. Oh no! Oh, no. It's not related to what Jesse said. <laughs> it should be. Did I make Heidi cry? What's going on? Um, no, I'm, I'm allergic to everything. So <laughs> there could be a piece of dust in the air and then I sound like this, so sorry about that. No worries. Um, did you want to go ahead and do some of the masking? Yeah, so. Because I'm mostly dry now. So if I want to like, I don't know, imagine this is sitting on a table and I draw like a line. Is that a good place to start? Yeah, um, I can show this one too if you want. Kind yeah. of the idea of what we're. So this is something really elaborate that I do for masking where like I started with a chaos layer just like that with lots of texture. And then I went in and kind of mapped out based off of what was there what flowers I wanted to do and where I wanted the vase to be. Yay. And so, so yeah, Love you've already that. done that where you marked out where you want your, your vase to be, your pot. Mm -hmm. And so you can just mark off from there what you want the background to do. Okay. I'm going to kind of do a sort of maybe a tan color, more tan ish down here. Excuse me. It's okay. <laughs> So basically, if you want a brown, which mine is more of a pastel brown, just mix all the colors and white, <laughs> and you'll get sort of a tan. So I'm just going to do this bottom half, that color, right? Yeah. And it can be pretty loose. It doesn't have to be like super you know, thick. Don't get out a ruler or anything. Unless you want to, you can. If I that love, makes you happy, you can do that. I love rulers. One of my favorite things to see are like sketched cities. And whenever someone has a perfectly straight lines, it just, for some reason, it just looks so clean, mm -hmm. but unfinished. I don't like a finished city sketched scape for some reason, but a ruler just makes me so happy. Okay, I'm going to get you a ruler for your birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Now I know. Or Christmas, whichever. <laughs> His birthday's on Christmas, so it's fine. <laughs> You've got a lot of double duty presents yeah, in your life. A lot of double duty. This is for Christmas and for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bummer. So I'm doing something different with mine because I wanted to do kind of a seascape. So now I'm kind of blocking out my sky. That's the idea. Oh my gosh, look how that pot is starting yes. to pop. Like, I'm so excited. Okay, now how do you recommend the background? Like this sky. I kind of like some of these. I don't want them all to go away, so. So I usually just try to contrast. So like, kind of like the page you showed me that was super light and bright. Mm -hmm. I would probably have chosen like a super dark background to make it really pop and feel like it's a part of a whole different page almost. So you can choose, you have a little bit darker if you wanted to do super light or super dark. I don't know. To make it pop. Which one's going to make my pot pop? Because that's what I think is cool. I would mm. go kind of light. And I even started this blue, light blue color that might be. Oop, I'm in. <laughs> And little things you can do to make the background pop out more as you're doing it is turn your brush around and use it as like a scraper and scratch in oh, some Oh yeah, I like that. Texture. Marcy Clark said that Ford tried to get out of going to school today by announcing he was staying home to watch this live. Oh. <laughs> we need to have him on as a guest, I think. Oh yeah. yeah. That's actually what they're talking about in the chat, where they're tr they're doing negotiations between Marcy and her husband to come do the visit, do a road trip. Yay, May 3rd. May 3rd, we open up. We open up. I'm going to switch brushes so I can get kind of... Sorry, I changed your color. Oh, man. What's going to happen now? You can add some white to it if you want. <laughs> More interest <laughs> is what's going to happen, and it's going to be great. I can roll with it. <laughs> 
Sorry about that. It's fine. That's it's like fine. a big no-no. Don't touch my mixed color. The challenge accepted. The Bryants <laughs> on YouTube's asked, "How can you make paint look like texture without using tissue paper?" And I, I, th I think we've mentioned gesso. Mm-hmm. And I think I think of that immediately. But do you know of? Uh, I mean, I'm not a painter, so that's why I'm just There's throwing it out there. There's also another thing that you used in a previous box, which is modeling paste. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a I, great one. That's a good one, too. Yeah, it's very yeah. lightweight, usually, but then it's it also will give you a lot of, of texture. And, yes. You know, when you're, you're trying to get, like, the... We used a light and fluffy one, and it kind of oh. was, like, the consistency of, uh, like, marshmallow whip. Mm -hmm. Like, is that what we said? Marshmallow paste. It was kind of whip, Not as whip. tasty. And they come in different viscosities as well. Like, you can get thick, and you can get some that has, like, a texture in it. Like, you can get it in different colors. I think we have some really, like, some silvery ones on the yeah. on the website right now. I put some silver marshmallow paste on, on the front of my journal. I am so into this right now. I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. Like, <laughs> look at I like that I'm using this color that is letting some of that chaos still show through, yes. like... My plant has like, like a vibe, like like a, like some energy to it. You know, <laughs> that's starting to sound crazy, but I love it. Oh my goodness! I just want to keep painting. I know we're running out of time, but this is just so fun. The the extended version. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. No. <laughs> I know. I could sit here and paint all day. Okay. So, do you have any other tips? as far as this kind of chaos and then masking back that you want to share? Um, not really. So something I try to do too with, if I'm really trying to do a, a major contrast is I'll pick a color that I haven't used in any of the under layers Ooh. too. It just depends on how much you want your background to pop or to, to differentiate from what you're painting. Okay. Um, that's something fun. I like to do very thick layers and then I like to kind of scratch. Yeah, I'm really into back. scratching right now. This it's, is cool. Oops, that wasn't dry yet. That's okay. Match it back down. No one saw that, right? <laughs> nope. The camera did not catch it. <laughs> no one will ever be able to rewind and see what the just happened. The recorded video that's on YouTube for the rest of time is did not see that. <laughs> Thanks, okay, now. You're welcome. <laughs> you got my back. <laughs> so I'm also, like, with the, the collage stuff that I added, I'm not covering it completely. I'm just covering parts of it so that it feels like it's part of the layers. Super cool. It's very similar to your t your tutorial that you did on the imperfect oh, yeah. textures um, or layers. What is it, which one was that? So we did that one this month. And um, this one, you mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There were so many fun variations of this in our Facebook group. And if you're new here, there, this, there's this whole community of people that cheer each other on and like make things along with us and share things. And it's fun because different people had different things that they included. We call this layers of life. Um, you could have put in like a receipt from your day or a ticket or whatever. Oh, so fun. Yes, There Keenan. is someone new. Robin joined us. She got her first box recently. Yay! And she's so excited she got to join this live. Robin, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. Um, we just have a good time here. We just, you know, we like, we like being with like-minded people who like creating. And um, I, think, I think if you tool around on that Facebook group, Robin, you will find some inspiration. It's hard not to be inspired seeing all the work that is on there. Sorry, I keep changing your color. It's fine. I'm like, okay, now it's kind of like this aloe kind of... <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> we thought it would be a good idea to share a palette. It's I kind of, I, I think it's working for me. We just need a bigger me. palette. <laughs> I just need to be more respectful of her colors that she just makes. I'm sorry. Okay, so... <laughs> Sometimes I need to know when to stop, right? Because I'm like, oh, I like the, I like the act of painting. I want to keep going. But I'm really liking how this is turning out, y'all. It's lovely. Oh, it's so great. It's it so amazing. Fun. I had no idea what this what was going to happen, you know? Like sometimes you have an idea in your mind and it doesn't turn out, but then yeah. you have fun anyway. I had no idea. I was like, well, we're just going to go for it. Yeah, that mother-in-law's tongue is sweet. <laughs> it's called a snake plant. <laughs> <laughs> We use the proper name. I don't. Yes. Also, I love my mother-in-law. So one of the facts. <laughs> this is funny. One of the facts that uh, they shared was the reason it got called that is because it's hard to kill. 
<laughs> wow. That is some shade. That yeah. is shade. <laughs> That may be the first time I've ever used that word. (laughs) Deb said that, uh, she said, hey, Keenan, maybe you should be like the queen. She has two birthdays, the real one and an official one. Oh. That I could uh, explore. So my my husband has a similar problem to you, Keenan, where he has has a birthday right after Christmas. Yeah. Similar. Not it's not on Christmas, but he did often have it's on Double January third. So it was like Yep. It's close enough, we're gonna oh, get both. Oh, then that's also right after New Year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he has a favorite number that he just like has I for, I forget the meaning of it, but he has a favorite number that is three one nine. And so now we celebrate his birthday on March nineteenth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> awesome. Otherwise we like you know he'll go all out for mine yeah and then i'm like we're gonna do the best we can since we just, <laughs> just had just did the christmas best we can and, for christmas <laughs> yeah exactly so yeah. maybe we just need an official keenan day okay oh. i just thought maybe i want to do a little i kind of want this to look like there's something on the table this little <laughs> a little um, bit of a little scrap of something here i need some glimmer yeah a little something okay i think i'm gonna call this done i'm liking it Mine is still a mess, but I might I might have to like share it with you when I'm done. No, you're good. Because I'm I still have more layers to add to make it look like a seascape. Rudy but Rudy is also new. It's getting there. Hi, Rudy. <laughs> Sorry. I, just, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something excited. else. That That's okay. Like, All right. Well, we're excited. We're excited. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I got excited. Okay, so I just love making these things along with y'all. I love the live because we get to interact and um, hear from you. I hope that uh, even though we had some technical difficulties that you could um, kind of see what we're doing and had the opportunity to ask some questions. And I know that the YouTube will go back. Will it be available to watch again? Yes. So if you missed the beginning or you're watching it and this angle is not working for you or whatever, <laughs> we're so glad you're here. We're so patient with us. But you can go check that out on YouTube. Um, is there any other fun things we want to tell them? Like uh, what's happening with Let's Make Art or we think they're great. what's coming up? Anything else? We always have fun things that we're working on to try and just improve the experience for our customers. And so we do have some fun things coming up in the summer and later on and maybe some more special pro- you already spoiled the special project <laughs> i was gonna not spoiled but a little hint at Spoilers. what's to come some maybe bonus art journaling yeah products as well so yes i'm excited about that coming up now if they want to be informed on these things what's the best way for them to stay in touch with us we we tell our email subscribers everything pretty much first I would okay say. so email's so probably like be really in the know our email People. And you can go on our site. If you don't see it right away, scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's a sign up form to be on our newsletter. Love it. Okay, can you just bring that to the middle camp so they can see these beautiful clouds you're creating? Yeah, I suppose. It's kind of a mess right now. I but... love it so much. And I can imagine what's going to happen. Get your other sea. C- I'm all bossing around. Can you get your other C <laughs> safe thing? You can boss me around. Oh, I love this hot pink showing through and this purple and the movement that you already have created. And these clouds are just, they're not like that color. They're a whole different color palette, probably because we're sharing a palette and using different paper, but it's kind of like that, like misty kind of like rainy clouds or something. Kind of overcast. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Lots of layers. And then I like to do top layers. I know you've you've, um, used like distressed crayons Mm -hmm. and those types of things before. I like to do some top layer like that. So is that what you use here is the distress? distress? (laughs) Some of of this is like chalk pastels. Some of it is graphite pencil, like the one that you put in your box. Oh, yeah. This. Let's show them. Hold on. This guy right here. Yeah, this guy. I I have this one and I also have a chunkier one depending on how thick I want the lines to be. And then I and then some of it is distressed crayon too. Cool. So nice. would you use that when it's wet, or do you wait for it to dry, or what's how do you go to the next so level? So once this all would be dry of that layer, then I'll go on and add like I'll kind of scribble and draw on top to get the last little details and touches that I want. I love it. So, I love how you cut through that and that line. It, like you couldn't get a line like that if you weren't cutting through that, but your eye yeah. doesn't register it that way. It's so yeah. cool. And I do like to. I dip this in water. Oh, yeah? And then I draw with it, usually. Uh, show us real fast before Getting we have to go. some love over here, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> and how, if somebody wants to see more of your artwork, where do they go? Oh, oh. 
<laughs> no? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to strong no, over and it's sharing stuff. No, it's all right. I am, I am on Instagram. It's just Heidi Stock Creative. Stock like the stock market. Love it. And so you my, can, you know, you can go stalk her. Heidi, you're on your own. I don't you know. can go stalk Heidi's art and then you'll remember that her name is Heidi Stock. <laughs> Um, okay, so just dip it. I'm uh -huh. just dipping it in my paint water, and then you can kind of draw it, and it just gives you a darker color, and then you can kind of smear it and smudge it. Cool. Oh, love and it. And add texture. So this one is a little bit more fine point, which is cool for tiny details. Mm -hmm. Itty bitty details. Yeah, and I've used the Lyra pencil in the past. I don't think I have it with me right now. Um, yeah, that's you, like bigger and thicker, and, and that one's a lot of, oh yeah, that's a nice. Use, looks like you can use the side of it too. Let's, mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Put that okay. in the middle so they can see. Okay, now we're doing stuff. So you can oh, smear I love it on that. the side. And I just dipped it, the tip of it, in water. Cool. You taught me this, but this is how I use it. So fun. Kind of swirl it and add some fun. Texture. And in my year of knowing Heidi, she's gotten braver and braver and more like like chaotic in these layers that she's building. And I love it. I love it. I love seeing so you fun. like just get crazy. It's so fun. <laughs> We and learn from all the people that we know, and a lot of this is influenced by you. I didn't even thanks. do mixed media at all. <laughs> well, thank you for being willing to get on camera and make art with me. I, that might be a little intimidating, but you went for it, and I'm just so grateful to get to see that kind of process versus this kind of process, and that you really yeah. can just like build layers and just have fun and just see where it takes you. Thanks so much for being here <laughs> with us and being patient with you know all the things that are going on. Keenan, anything else you want to add, Mary? Mary, you first. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's doing hand signals that she doesn't want to be included. <laughs> um, thanks so much. <laughs> do you want to, do, should we lift up the Facebook camera? Yeah, I'm going to also lift up. Oh, should we hold up our artwork for you? So you can see what me and Heidi made. Heidi's going to keep going. Heidi, would you, if I'll you post. finish that up, will you? Yeah, I'll share it with you. you maybe you can post it. We'll will, post it on yeah. somewhere, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of commitment, but we'll, I'll, I'll try. I'm holding you to it. I want to okay. see where this, where this goes. Okay. okay. Thanks so much for being here with us. And if you, you want to... want to show Facebook camera, Oh, yeah. Too. So she's coming around. <laughs> <laughs> she's coming around. Mary, you're the best. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to see more inspiration, if you painted this along with us, please share it on our Facebook group, Let's Make Art Journals. Or if you hang out on Instagram, you can use the hashtag Let's Make Art Journals there. And we will um, see what you made, cheer you on, and um, happy Earth Day. See you next time. Bye. Bye.